Uh, g'day there folks, Joe Bond reports live here. I am at the Grenfell Silos in New South Wales. Stunning. Can't believe I finally got here. But I'll just tell you a little bit about the history. The history is in 1916 across New South Wales, a huge amount of grain that had accumulated during the war was lost due to weather, rodents and insects. The loss promoted the government to propose the construction of 139 bulk storage wheat silos across New South Wales. This resulted in the Grain Elevator Act of 1916. Fast forward a few years time, 2015, the Grenfell Commodities purchased the silos from Grain Corp. The silos had been dormant since 2007 through resumed use once purchased and continued to operate as a functional work site. Grenfell's Commodity Partnership is comprised of Peter and Shirley Moorhinney, Glenn Beasley and Trevor Moorhinney and operate as a grain trading company. These silos were painted in 2018. Peter contacted Heathco to explore the possibility of silo art project. Okay, a small group led by Peter and his wife Shirley, their daughter Belinda and local photographer Denise A. Yates commence plans to actualize the solos that reflect the contemporary farming industry scene across the Wedden Shire. Stunning, hey. Mongolian born, Melbourne street artist, Hesco made Grenfell his temporary home in 2019 for five weeks after being commissioned to paint this spectacular silo. The artwork used 180 litres of bulk paint, 800 spray cans, and the passing community and visitors took great joy in watching Hesco create this stunning display. Come on down to Weddenshire in Grenfell and check out the silos. Joe Bond reports live.